Alrighty, you guys, welcome back to a brand new episode here on The Ankle. Hey, Ember. Just wanted to pop in here. We can talk about this real quick before we get into the gypsy of it all. Girl. <laughs> she went and changed her username to Tommy's Girl. Eye roll, dude. So it's official, you guys. It's Instagram official. Our girl has been taken. She found the new caretaker. Ooh, interesting. A new season is upon us, you guys. So, I mean, we expected this somewhat, right? Right? But Ari taking ownership uh, two weeks into the relationship, but Valentine didn't get anything special. Go figure. It's almost like Valentine didn't exist. Oh, wouldn't that be crazy? But Amber wouldn't lie to us, right, guys? No, no. <laughs> Gross, girl. Get a life. So, we're just going to check in a little with our girl, Jip Jip. <laughs> She's been posting on TikTok and Instagram more lately. So, have a few posts there to look at. Hope everyone is having a great day. Thank you so much for tuning on in. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Like and subscribe. Become a channel member. I don't want to yap too, too much. We're going to just look into some things. Not very critically, I'll be honest. Uh, it's just like some upcoming projects that Gypsy's working on that I think would be interesting to look at. So we'll talk about it. We'll see. This first one, she posted it being like, all of these people are fake. They're so fake. And it's like, yeah, they're fake accounts, girl. <laughs> um, and I'm not too sure what she was getting at with this, that all fake accounts in Ken's name, like, was someone going around posting something? I have a feeling. They've been getting very comfortable, I would say, on lives and whatnot, like TikTok live, which, you know, it's whatever, but she wants to, like, portray Ryan as this person that is so, like, greedy and money-hungry. I mean, for one, I don't think Ryan is, like, the guy for her. I don't. But he did lose his job to be with Gypsy, okay? Like, I don't necessarily blame him for being money conscious right now. He doesn't have a TV network backing him up or anything. Like, I don't know. I feel like Gypsy's privilege kind of comes out and shows every now and then. Uh, what does that have to do with this? I don't know, but we'll go on to the next thing. <laughs> uh, this one, it was just another story. She does a lot of these, like, kind of cringe millennial posts of, like, a little inspirational saying something to, you know, get you through the day. It's <laughs> like, it's corny. It's corny. Once you're matured, you'll really Realize that silence is more powerful than proving your point. And I felt that. I mean, interesting. Interesting. I know we need to look at this with nuance. But, I mean, let's use this logic with uh, her mom situation. <laughs> Doesn't really stand, does it? Um, but, yeah, these are just, like, basic, basic stories and whatnot. Nothing really exciting, you guys. We will be looking at this TikTok as well. Gypsy Rose talks about what went down with Ryan last night. I do think Ryan's behavior is somewhat, like, mildly inappropriate now that they're broken up and all that. But at the same time, they are also still married, I believe. She's gotta get a divorce somehow, so. Ugh, jip jip. Try and contact me. And, um, I did see that he was on live last night. <laughs> He's always on live, you guys. Just go give him a follow. You'll always catch him on live. <laughs> um, Which, I mean, I don't think anyone would necessarily blame someone if they go online and, like, the money is just there, you know? Then, hey, whatever. Whatever. I mean, we saw how upset... I mean, he didn't really get upset. He was just trying to talk some freaking sense into this girl. That, like, you can't just throw away $6,000 because you want to delete your TikTok. Like, yeah, he was right about that. Sorry, guys. That, yeah, Jip, you should have waited one more day and just 
got the money out and then deleted the account. I don't know. I don't know. It just seems so privileged that she just wanted to throw all that money away. And then people were supporting her for that. Whatever, dude. Ugh, whatever. I think Gypsy has lived a very... I'm going to say this, and I know it might be controversial. She has lived a very privileged life. Considering everything that she has been through, her life has been very privileged. I mean, granted, it went from abuse to prison, but Jip hasn't worked a single day in her life, okay? She really does not know the value of the dollar. So I, I don't blame Ryan for being like, you're not throwing away six grand. And I went to dinner last night at this pasta place around town. Y'all, the comments had me dying. People were like, a pasta place around town equals Olive Garden. <laughs> Yo, that's freaking funny. And I had, I looked at my phone and I had like five missed calls from a random number. Okay. So I pull it back and I'm like, hello? And the first thing that I hear is... Why the fuck are you talking about me? And da 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 And I- Well, I mean, why were you talking about him, Jip? Hmm? Like, whoa, why are you calling me right now? And like, why is- what? I mean, true. True, but also, how was he supposed to know what you were doing? <laughs> what are you talking about? And he's like, you were posting something on Facebook about me. And he was coming at me aggressive. Yeah, that I don't agree with, but Gypsy, you do go running your mouth online and sharing more than you need to. You do, girl, you do. Remember when you told everyone that the D is fire? Yeah. <laughs> you tell people way too much on the internet. And I'm like, I didn't post anything about you on Facebook. What are you talking about? And he's like, that post of uh, life with Gypsy Rhodes or something like that. And he was talking about that picture that's going viral that... Don't worry, they'll show it, guys. It did not come from my account. I didn't post this picture, but it was a picture of me and him side, like, together, and then a picture of me and Ken. And it said something to the fact that I had to kiss a frog. Well, didn't you share it or you liked it? So, yes, you did post it, girl. Even if you weren't the original creator, you interacted with it and like yeah <laughs> to get to the prince or something. and people people are going to pay attention if you like a post people are going to notice that something i had to kiss the frog to meet the prince life with gypsy rose well i mean yeah that maybe must not be her but she interacted with it i believe i did not write that i i may have not been respectful in certain areas i would agree <laughs> gypsy very much like while i understand the mentality behind it like this girl hasn't been able to do a single thing she herself wanted to do her entire life i get that but she's just kind of like stomping all over people while doing so you know what i mean i may have not always been that thoughtful of how things would appear to him to be fair he was also just as, like, petty and vindictive as you are, girl. You would say one snarky thing, and he would come back with a comment about Ken. So, like, you both were toxic, let's be for real. When posting pictures of me and Ken. But the last thing I'm gonna do is be cruel. Mm, mm, I don't know. <laughs> I could see Gypsy having that side in her. I might live my life and enjoy my time with Ken and my relationship with Ken, but I'm not going to be cruel to Ryan. I don't know. I don't know, you guys. Because she does kind of, like, bait post about certain things that, you know, would get an ex riled up. You know what I mean? I don't know, Gypsy. She's a little messy. She's just a little bit messy, but it's honestly funny, so who knows? Also, I've been seeing a lot of articles. I don't think they're real, because they don't come from <laughs> the most trustworthy of uh, news formats, stations, whatever the F. But, allegedly, Kim K is already trying to cut ties with the whole Gypsy 
thing. Um, I think they pretty quickly sniffed out that it was just a ploy to get attention, I think. I'm not going to lie to you. The fact that Gypsy was the one that reached out to Kim, like, I want to meet you. Let's talk about this. And then, like, not really much of that got talked about. So, I don't know. Something tells me Kim's team more so, because, you know, (laughs) anything will go over Kim's head is more so telling her, like, okay, we need to separate from this girl. <laughs> like, this wasn't wasn't the move, Kimberly. Hi, everybody. Hey, Jip. So, this is another, in or no, TikTok thing. She's coming out with a book soon, you guys. And now, I find this interesting. Normally, I wouldn't want to talk about this. But, should we do, like, a little book club? Like, every two weeks or so, do a couple chapters, sit down and talk about it? Or... I don't know. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts, guys. Maybe we could have a little Gypsy Rose Blanchard book club. It would kind of be fun, right? Um, but yeah, let's see what she's got to say. So I am excited to announce that I will be narrating. Also, no shade. Didn't she get a nose job? Looks like nothing happened. <laughs> The audiobook version for my memoir, My Time. Oh, that's the uh, that's the only thing though. She's the one narrating it in the audiobook. Dude, that voice. Oh, oh. I don't know. I'll probably buy a physical copy. I don't think I'll do the audiobook just because I I can't listen to that voice, you guys. I just can't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> like eight hours or so listening to that voice. No, 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 no. The stand coming out in December 10th, uh, 2020. I think if anything, what I'll do is I'll get the audiobook and then one of the drives to or from Vermont, I'll listen to it in its entirety because those drives are long enough I can finish a book. When the time comes to actually sit down and go through the chapters with you guys, then go through and like reread it and whatnot but we'll see we'll see or i am very excited about this project it's very close to my heart it means everything for me to share it in my own voice in my own words okay yeah valid valid because to be fair we haven't heard much of gypsy's story from gypsy herself Like, we get little bits and pieces of her thrown into it, but it's usually through the lens of whatever studio or whatever channel network is wanting to broadcast this story. This, I think, is the first time we're actually getting her side of it all, like, word for word. But I'm skeptical, you know? I'm really skeptical of what the truth in all of this is, you know? Um, it's so meaningful to share a story like this that I feel like so many can relate to and, um... Oh, so now it's everyone can relate to Gypsy, not Gypsy's the only person in the world who has ever struggled with something like this? Okay, interesting spin have gone through some because i did find it interesting that she was going down that kind of like perpetual uniqueness route of like no one can understand what i have been through and while yes to a degree i don't think people could understand it all people still like can relate to your girl things similar and so i think this book could reach a lot of people's lives and touch a lot of people's lives okay so, I'm not going to knock her for that. So I hope that y'all enjoy it. If y'all want to learn more, please click the link below. Alrighty, y'all. Do you think we should dive into that? I think maybe. I think it could be fun. But we'll see. We'll see. Thank you so much for tuning in, you guys. I know it's a short one. Just a little pick-me-up for the afternoon. Uh, getting a bunch of stuff pre-filmed. So these will just kind of be scattered about in the wind. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments, like and subscribe, become a channel member, and definitely let me know your thoughts on the Gypsy Rose Blanchard Book Club. (laughs) I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much once again, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.